Now we's gonna be bringing nature. That's what's on the outside of your house to the inside of your house so you can explore some of nature. And our first exhibit is this tree right behind me here called an ironwood tree. All right, I've got to stop, talk, stop talking like this. This is how I really speak. Um, so this is our first tree. It's an ironwood tree. And as you can see, it's growing along a wash in the Sonoran Desert. I'm gonna go up close to the tree so you can see some of the characteristics that make it an ironwood tree. So firstly, this tree has gray bark. Second, it's got these tiny little leaves. Now when plants have small leaves, we call that microphyllus. Micro means small and phyllus means leaf. The other thing you can see on their little twigs are these tiny little thorns. I'll take a picture later and you might be able to see the thorns, but thorns are woody outgrowths of the stem. All right, so it's got these microphyllus leaves that are sort of a bluish greenish in color. It's got gray bark and a ironwood tree this size and it's not that big is probably between four and nine hundred years old they grow very very slowly and they are probably the most long-lived plants in the desert all right so how is it adapted to life in the sonoran desert so one of its adaptations are its leaves it's microphyllus if you've got small leaves then you're going to lose very little water Second, these plants have a fairly deep taproot, which you can't see, but the taproot goes down a reasonable distance and it can get access to deeper underground water. Second, or third, sorry, these plants tend to grow along desert washes. So when the water, when it rains and the water flows in the wash, then um, this area is just wetter in general than away from a wash. And these plants tend to be more common there. So this is March in the Sonoran Desert and the weather's quite cool and there's quite a lot of water around. So this tree is looking in really great shape. But when it gets very hot and dry in the summer months, one of the adaptations this plant has is it can lose some of its leaves. That's a condition be called drought deciduous. Now it doesn't lose many leaves and to put this tree into a category, we would probably call it drought resisting. It really is one of the desert diehards and it tends to continue to photosynthesize um, throughout the hot dry months. Although if it gets very hot and very dry, it can lose some of its leaves.